The South Dakota Mines team set out to make our own version of an 1860s cavalry saber using 1095 steel, which is the modern equivalent. Historical research found that some period swords were tempered in unique ways using molten lead. This inspired our team to do an isothermal os tempering process to get a bainite microstructure. The isothermal treatment was accomplished by quenching the sword in molten lead at 340 degrees Celsius and holding for one hour. Proper PPE and safety standards were maintained during the making of this video. All forging was done by hand at approximately 1200 degrees Celsius. Time in the forge was minimized to reduce decarburization when possible. We started with a straight blade, then pre-bent to the opposite side of the cutting edge. During the beveling process, the blade naturally savored the correct direction due to steel expansion. In order to maintain safety while working with molten lead, we held a fan blowing fumes out of the garage as well as wearing masks and eye protection. Straight from austenitizing, the blade was quenched in a molten lead bath and held for an hour. The temperature was maintained with a pyrometer and frequent agitation. A wax mold with sprues and vents was dipped in a suspended ceramic slurry to create a cast form. This was fired to completely harden the mold before casting. We wanted to create our own garden pommel by investment casting brass, inspired by historical designs. The handle was wrapped in white ray skin and brass thread. The team recreated historical floral scroll patterning above the Ricasso using an acrylic paint and an improvised electro etching technique. The handle of the sword was secured by peening the tang. A blade balance calculator program was used to measure the effectiveness of the blade design to make sure optimal balance. <laughs> 